Well, good morning. I'm here with Simon Kings, Director of Raytheon UK. Simon, great to have you with us. Could you tell us a little bit about some of the things we can expect to see at the show? Yeah, well, it's great to be here, Tom. And as I look around the show here, I can see the huge number of people here. So it's really great back to be back at uh, DSCI after a couple of years, and particularly after 18 months of lockdown where we just haven't been able to see the customer in person. So that's firstly just great to be here. And if you look around our uh, exhibition here, we've got uh, a number of things on display that we're going to be talking to our customers about. So firstly, in the, uh, in the weapon domain, we've got Naval Strike Missile. And uh, that's a phenomenal capability which the U US Navy have just bought into in large numbers. And we're here and going to have conversations with the Royal Navy about the potential of uh, them procuring that weapon system. We've also got on the stand uh, over that side AQS-20, which is a towed sonar body. And uh, again, we'll be demonstrating that off an autonomous boat later in the autumn uh, up off Scotland uh, with the Royal Navy testing and seeing what that capability is like. And then finally today, uh, really exciting, but we're going to be announcing that uh, we'll be working with the UK Army on a high-energy laser demonstrator program. So we'll be putting a Raytheon laser on a Wolfhound vehicle and using it over the next few years. Simon, obviously Raytheon is uh, a very large US company, but you have a very big UK presence as well. Can you talk to me a little bit about some of the things you're involved in in the UK? Yes, well, of course, Raytheon UK is in its own right a UK company, and we employ over 2,000 people. We're the biggest employer in Fife in Scotland, where we've got a factory with 600 staff working there, and mostly on export products. And we've just bought a new factory in Livingston in Scotland, so we're really expanding our footprint. And the investments, the inward investment into the UK is in excess of 50 million per annum. Looking across the group, Raytheon Technologies also, of course, is Pratt & Whitney, uh, Raytheon Intelligence and Space, Raytheon Missiles and Defence and Collins. And if you look at that across the UK, we're one of the very biggest aerospace and defence companies here on the, in the country. Well, Simon, thank you very much for your time today. Enjoy the exhibition and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Great. Thanks, Tom. Thanks.